Hello. Hello, Mr. T. Meyer. Uh. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Will you take me on a safe ride? Please. Yes, I will do. <laughs> Very good. I try to do the same. This is a 1979 model. Till 1977, 200,000 Unimox were already sold. So it was a huge success. It was really used everywhere and for every purpose because you can do everything with this, with this truck. Like I'm saying, not only driving, you can really work with it. In 1979, the model already had uh, bris uh, disc brakes, not the old drum brakes. And I tell you later on, we will need those. Mr. Tima, how many gears do we have? We have eight gears, four gears for upcountry and four road gears. Mm -hmm. Then we have four by two, four by four and differential lock. Oh, okay. Will we use these differentials? Today? Differential lock we use only if we climb up hills or we go downhill, just for re a safety reason. Or we pass a river. We don't know how the ground, so we use the differential lock. I don't think we will but pass a river But with differential today. lock, you cannot make a turn left or right. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. you're going to lose me, Mr. T. Meyer. Yeah. <laughs> It's only 20 degrees, and the maximum that Unimac can do is 38 degrees. So it could be even worse. I was worse enough. Next thing we see is the twist, because this is something very special on the Unimac. You have these two axles, portal axles, axles, which really twist against each other maximum. And that makes the Unimac capable to go everywhere. This is the reason why we used it on the Dakar. Of course, not this 1979 model, but the model you saw earlier on, because it's just fantastic. It goes everywhere. If you have a problem, the Unimog will go there and help you. So here, there's something special. It's a hundred percent up incline. Oh! Ooh, and now I'm happy we have the disc brakes so <laughs> going down. We don't break. The whole way I didn't, didn't break. Okay, Mr. T. Meyer is such safe. a tough guy. He's not breaking. Because the Unimog is so high, of course, all the holes and, and, and ditches are no uh. problem for this truck. <laughs> Nevertheless, it was 79 hard work to drive <laughs> the Unimog one whole day. That must have been hard work either. A little bit like Dakar. But in Dakar, you, are, you wear some safety belts and some helmets. So what do we have here now? So we use first gear because we go very slowly because of the cameraman behind. I'm happy that we have the cameraman so. behind. We go very slowly. <laughs> yeah. It's fantastic. It's really a car for the eternity. I mean, can you imagine 79 and it's still doing stuff like that? It's unbelievable. Actually, the four-wheel drive, the four attachment points, the differential, these are the key figures which still stay the same till today. And it was more or less the milestones for the success of the Unimog. So what we do next is 60% up but with some steps inside. Let's do how the car is managing this. And have a look, you only will see the sky. And now down. Mr. T. Meyer is not using any pedal. Nothing. He just lets the thing roll. Hopefully that works. If it would be too slippery now, he should have, to, he should ex uh, accelerate. It's a little bit like driving in the dunes with a Dakar truck or a Dakar car. You go up in the dunes, you see nothing, you don't know what is behind, and you have to trust in the car that it goes down and not falls over, that you did everything well. And even in the sand, you should not break. So I'm used to that. So let's do the twist from the other side. You can see in the mirror what we are doing at the moment. All the Unimogs have 
a very small bulk in the front, meaning you co can go more or less everywhere because you don't destroy something in the front, like a Dakar car as well. Okay, and this is so 20 degrees again, Mr. Rip. T. Meyer, what yes. are you doing? <laughs> I cannot imagine 38 degrees, really. <laughs> oh, la, la. This is also very tricky because it's deep holes, very, very sharp holes. So let's see how the Unimog is doing this. Will we have a problem here? No, nothing. No problem for the Unimog. Do you love the Unimog, Mr. Timmeyer? I Timmeyer? Like are you sometimes more than my wife <laughs> <laughs> i think this is not only especially mr timaya this is all no. the fans of the unimog a little bit a little bit freaky aren't they no. <laughs> no 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 i can totally imagine that they love this truck because it's so fantastic what you can do it's kind of dangerous oh. i think even this the Unimog could tow me in a Dakar through the dunes if necessary, till today. We wouldn't be the quickest, that's for sure, but we would get safe back into the bivac. So slow for the cameraman again. Yes. So, now. Accelerate, speed, Mr. Timaya. Ah, no, 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 sorry, stop. <laughs> hey. Fantastic. It shows thumb up. That was a very nice experience, so. Mr. Timaya. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy. I hope to see you again soon. I hope so. so Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> that was nice, but I still prefer my Dakar Unimog, uh, even when I'm only co driving it again. Well, nevertheless, you saw what you can experience in the Unimog Museum. Isn't that great? I mean, this is what you can do yourself if you like and if you think you can do it on this really nice track where the Unimox, the different models, show their abilities. Over 40,000 spectators and visitors every year in the Unimog Museum that makes this museum one of the biggest in Germany, actually. So come here, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed our Unimog inside, our classic inside for the 70 years of the Unimog. I go and take the opportunity to co-drive the Dakar Unimog again. See you soon. Bye-bye. Ah! Bye-bye!